Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Hi, I'm Lisa for GCFLearnFree.org, and today we're talking about the iPad. The iPad is capable of near limitless tasks, from browsing the internet and watching movies to sending emails and playing games. But before we dive into everything the iPad is capable of, let's take a moment to explore some of the important physical aspects, such as finding the various buttons and ports, charging the battery, and caring for the iPad itself. Knowing the buttons and ports will help you get the most out of this simple yet powerful machine. On top, you'll find the sleep-wake button and the headphone jack. On the side, you'll find the volume buttons. Below the touchscreen is the home button. And at the bottom is the lightning connector, which connects the lightning cable included with your iPad. You can plug the lightning cable into a USB port on your computer to charge the battery or transfer data. If you only want to charge the battery, you can connect to a wall outlet through the power adapter, which is also included with your iPad. Just plug the adapter into the wall, then insert the charging cable's USB. To check how much battery life your iPad has, look for the battery icon in the top right corner of the screen. The buttons themselves are easy to use. Press the sleep-wake button or the home button to wake the iPad. Then press the home button, enter your passcode if you've set one up, and you're ready to go. When you're finished using your iPad, press the sleep-wake button to put it to sleep. If you're interested in using your iPad to take pictures or use FaceTime to video chat, you'll be using one of its cameras. The iPad actually has two, one camera on the front and another camera on the back. Anytime you're taking a picture or recording video, you can switch between the front and back cameras by touching the camera flip icon on the right. This allows you to quickly switch between taking a picture of something in front of you to taking a picture of yourself and back again. Caring for your iPad is important for extending the life of your device. Cleaning the screen is simple. Use a dry, lint-free cloth to wipe off smudges or fingerprints. It's very important, though, not to use any household cleaners on your iPad, as they could ruin the special coating on the touchscreen. To keep your iPad in good shape and to protect it from any dents or scratches, consider purchasing a foldable cover. Many even double as a stand. There are also iPad cases that protect the screen and metal backing. Cases and covers come in a wide variety of colors and materials. You can find them at your local Apple store and many other retailers. So now that you know about the buttons and ports, how to charge the battery, and how to care for your iPad, you're ready to start exploring everything it can do.